So this is the big zip challenge, and um, the description here says, unzip this archive and find the flag. Okay, so this is going to be um, this is going to be quite familiar, and uh, it's going to be very similar to the last challenge. But uh, let's let's do it to get our motor skills to build up our muscle memory for using grep. All right, so we go back to the web shell, and then we're going to back out into our home directory. And then we're going to create a directory called big zip. So make dir big zip. And then after that, we can cd into the directory, cd big zip. And then we see that we are inside of the directory. So now we're ready to download the file. So we can go back to the PicoCTF web page and we can copy the download, the download link by right-clicking it and then clicking on copy link address. After we've done that, go back to the PicoCTF web shell and then we can use wget to download the file. So it's wget and then paste in, paste in the, um, the file location and then press enter to download the file. So we downloaded a file called bigzipfiles.zip. So if we use the follow command on it, it says it's a zip archive. So we just need to decompress or unzip the or unzip the file using the unzip command. So we can do unzip and then big. So remember, we can use tab autocomplete to autocomplete the name of the file as long as there are no other files inside the directory which begin with the same letters. So just start uh, to start typing the, the name of the file and then hit the tab key and it's going to autocomplete the name of the file. So it unzips a lot a lot of information over here. So it's a lot of different zip files and a lot inside of uh, these different directories right here. What is the what does the challenge say? Unzip this archive and find the flag. All right, so let's go back to the web shell. So there are a lot of files in here. So what we need to do is we need to use the grep command to, um, to, find, to find the uh, the flag inside of these files. Let me ask ChatGPT what we would do to look inside of um, inside of all these files recursively. So so ChatGPT, please tell me how do you use the grep command to look re recursively inside of directories. So we have to use grep with the R. Okay, so grep with the R flag. Okay, let's let's do that then. So back here, it's going to be grep dash R, and then the pattern we're looking for, which is flag, and then the directory we're looking for, which is this. So. So it looks like there are a bunch of different, so maybe flag is the wrong text to look for. Let's try looking, instead of flag, let's look for the Pico CTF flag prefix. So let's look for Pico and then run that. So here we found that we found the flag in this particular file over here. So it's going to be in this file, inside of this text file right here. All right, so we have the flag now. Uh, and emat84 asks, what does the dash r flag do? So the dash r flag, as we um, as we learned from our good friend ChatGPT, is going to let grep uh, recursively search inside of each one of the files inside of a directory. And each flag and each file that's um, underneath that directory. So that's what the R flag does. Uh, R stands for recursive. All right, so we can copy the flag, and then we can go back to the challenge page, 
And then in the challenge page, we can submit the flag by pasting it into the flag submission field and click on submit flag. All right, and let's go back to the challenge and upvote the challenge. And in the challenge here, because we enjoyed the challenge, we can upvote it. And that's the big zip challenge. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.